Lab 23 asks us to do source code analysis to find the source of the open redirect vulnerability in the credits.php page. This vulnerability is an open redirect. If we take a look at the link on the page, we'll just paste it up here in the bar so we can see it easier. We'll notice that it's not a hyperlink, but instead it's actually using a redirection from the forward URL parameter to send the user to whatever page is specified as the value of that parameter. Because this is not strongly authenticated and authorized, also because there's no prefixing of the domain, this creates an open redirect vulnerability where the user ends up over at whatever site is passed in as the parameter. So if we were to change this from OWASP.org, which was the intended site, to say Google.com, we would end up at Google instead of ending up at OWASP. This can create a dangerous situation because a hacker can create phishing links very easily from these types of vulnerabilities. And these phishing links are very hard even for sophisticated users to detect. So let's go find the vulnerability in the page. Let's take a look at the page doing the redirecting. So if we look at this link again, we'll notice that redirect and log is the page that's actually doing the redirecting. So we're gonna open up that page and take a look at what the vulnerability is. We scroll down to the bottom, we'll notice that the parameter comes in and then it's transferred into this variable called forward URL. So let's follow this variable. Depending on the security level, that parameter may or may not be strongly validated. So in the case where the parameter is not going to be strongly validated, what happens is it comes in via the forward URL, and then it gets put into this HTTP equiv refresh right here. And whatever the value of that variable is, the user just ends up getting redirected. Now notice that Matilda has several different modes, and this is for case zero or security level zero. If we're in security level five, the whole system works differently. But we're not in that mode. So we have choices here on the page of PHP header function, ASP, Java answers as well. But we know from looking at the code, the correct answer is creating an HTML meta element with the HTTP equip attribute. 